if I brought you this slice in an unlabeled box and told you it came from 7-Eleven, you'd probably think I was lying. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And today we are checking out the brand new 7-Eleven Evolution store in Manassas, Virginia. I never thought I'd say I'm excited to be here in Manassas, but we've known for the longest time that Sheets and Wawa have been running the game lately, folks. Full service food, lots of different products, the gas station, the whole nine. So I personally want to see how does 7-Eleven respond with this Evolution store? And how does 7-Eleven stack up against Wawa, Sheets, and Royal Farms? Let's go find out. Come on, people. Now, as we get this video kicked off, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Show some love to narrator Gary. Make it as long a way to return. 7-Eleven, as we know, it is all about the big bites the taquitos and all those other great snacks and when you're thirsty you get a big gulp or a slurpee but the 7-eleven evolution store is really so much more there's lots of groceries tons of snacks i mean look they even have cosmetics for crying out loud there's really a big selection here they have an entire walk-in wine cellar which is just packed to the brim Filled with all the wine, there is a beer cooler as well that you can walk into. And you can just tell that there's such a big selection of stuff here at the new 7-Eleven Evolution Store. You can tell the effect that the Wawa in the Sheets and the Royal Farms of the world have had here on 7-Eleven because they're clearly here trying to step up their game. But the reason why we're really here, folks, raise the roost and the parlor pizza. We're so excited to try it. So let's, you know, let's get to that because I want to eat that right there. Take it away, Lair. We're gonna slice of pepperoni and jalapeno. Very greasy. Well, I wouldn't say very greasy, but I mean, it's... It looks delightful. It looks delightful. This is the chicken, bacon, and ranch. Ooh. And it looks phenomenal. Shall we? This is ridiculous. Okay, first bite. Mm. Pizza's really good. It's way better than their than their what their classic or standard slice of pizza. There's a ranch base on the bottom. I don't necessarily taste the ranch, but the cheese is good. The crust feels good, and the chicken tenders, as we already know, is really very good. Mm. These are like the sizes of like you know Sbarro's. Let's take our house sauce. And let's drizzle a little bit here on the corner. This is where the magic happens, folks. I want to try this and see if this doesn't hit in a very special way. Mm. That's what I'm talking about, folks. Don't let this gigantor box deceive you. Two chicken tender combo, a biscuit, and I got some buffalo sauce and crinkle cut fries. Let's try the biscuit. It's a good biscuit. Okay. Mm. The biscuit is very fluffy. Tastes like those canned biscuits that you smack on the table and they explode out. But I like it. it. It's got the buttery flavor, but it's not overwhelming. It's not like too buttery to where you feel like you're gonna have a cardiac arrest. So that's always good. How are the crinkle cut fries? <laughs> fries are good. Could use a little salt, but they're good. And one of the cameramen. Yeah, a little bit more salt, but it is good. Let's see. In my hand, it feels like a Royal Farms tender. That's how it feels in the hand. Get a big old bite. Look at that. Look at that juicy sauce. That is very much in the vein of Zaxby's and Raising Cane's house sauce. And 
this tender, while not as big, uh, is very much like a Royal Farms tender in the way that it tastes. And when I say that, know that I'm speaking of it complimentary because I love Royal Farms as chicken. That's good. Is it, would you say, what, Chick-fil-A level, Zaxby's level? No, but it's pretty tasty. 7-Eleven's definitely stepping their game up. It's really like a big helping of chicken. It's a big, thick piece, very tender. The breading, very much similar to Royal Farms in the sense that it's not super crispy like a Zaxby's or a Raisin Cane's, but it's still very, very delicious. Well, Larry, final thoughts on the 7-Eleven Evolution Store. Honestly, I loved it. This is the most awesome 7-Eleven I've ever set foot in. Very spacious, everything's new, tons of food options. Definitely, I mean, look, you know, we've always talked about the likes of Sheets and Wawa taking over the game. They're taking... <laughs> They're taking over the game, folks, but 7-Eleven coming out here with two full restaurants. They bring this concept to like the general uh, 7-Eleven locations. Not all of them can be like that, but they bring it to a lot more. And I think if I'm Wawa and Sheets, I'm like, eh, maybe we poked that bear a little too much. Totally, with this store, they definitely threw their hat in the ring. Definitely. If you're watching this and you're in the Virginia area, there are two locations, one here in Manassas that we're at. There's another one in Washington, D.C. as well. So we hope you guys enjoyed this look at the 7-Eleven Evolution. Thank you guys so much for being here and checking out the channel. Make sure you like the video down below. If you liked it, hit subscribe if you want a little bit more. And hit that bell for every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday when we upload brand new videos. Hit up theedibleadventures.com for official swag. Help support us. Give us a follow on Instagram at The Edible Adventures. And this is the end screen, a couple of video recommendations, and a subscribe button. Click one of those, and we'll see you on another video. Thanks for watching, everybody.